Hi everyone, Brightphone here, and I'm back with another video. And today we're going to take a quick look at Coercer. So Coercer, what it does is it coerces a system into sending its NTLM hashes to you, right? So a lot of the time when you're using Responder, you have to wait, right? You're waiting on something to trip over Responder. You're waiting on something to respond. In this case, we're actually coercing the target into responding to our requests, right? Now, the thing we have to have to make this work is we have to have a username for someone from the domain, right? We need at least a username. It doesn't have to be a privileged user, but you could password spray for it. You could use previous credentials you've captured with a responder to then coerce things into giving you the hashes. So let's demo this tool real quick. We'll go ahead over here. We're going to start responder. We're going to start it in Verbo so you can see the hashes come through. Go ahead and start that. And then we're gonna use Coercer here. So Coercer, we're just doing Python 3, Coercer.py. The user is Clint.Barton, and he's our typical low privilege target. He's just a domain user. We're gonna use his password, then our hacklab.com domain, then our, this is our responder IP. So this is the IP of my Cali box, right? Make sure you put that in or the response does not know where to go. And then the target is, in this case, our domain controller. So we're going to see if we can get our domain controller to send its NTLM hash back to Responder. So here we go. And we can see several of these. Our attack has worked. And if the attack has worked, the attack has worked, right? At least it thinks it has. In some cases, I've found that it doesn't actually work. But I have a feeling when we hop over here to Responder, we're going to have a whole bunch of different hashes come through. And you can see how many times we were able to successfully reflect the hash from the domain controller back to this host. Now, once I have the hash of a domain controller's system account, I can do a lot of things with it, right? I can set up DC sync. There's several methods I can use just to suck credentials right out of that system. But the fact that they didn't harden this domain controller to get it to where it doesn't respond to those attacks means either one, their patching cadence isn't very good, or two, they don't have a formal hardening program, which is what I typically see in most environments. So very simple attack uh, allows you to kind of quickly get hashes that you might not be able to get otherwise. Uh, so Coercer is a great tool. Um, feel free to try it out on your own. And uh, of course, leave any comments uh, around the tool or anything else you'd like to see around the tool in the video comments. Otherwise, as always, hack the planet to defend better. Thank you.